stay or should I go? Should I say yes or this time no? Maybe we should take it slow, really get to know each other. Although, I think it's now or never. After all, I don't want your name or number, I don't want to be encumbered, I just want to go. So come, let's go back to my bunker. I hunger, I hunker, my hands wander, and I've even got a rubber. Although, let's be real, our dad will use it. <laughs> it's not like when we were younger, when fear of disease would prohibit slumber. STDs part and parcel of the summer of our youth. I think we may now be dumber, grown up, and we're scared of sex no longer, even though we suspect we still ought to be. We leave together in an Uber. Interlocked fingers grace the frayed edges of my jumper. I feel myself briefly slipping under, aware of my potential blunder. I've been here before. Naive tingling fingertips and tensions loud as thunder. We tumble up the stairs to my boudoir. He the prey and I the hunter. It's like I've never known another. Ferocious, we disrobe each other. I am the drummer, the temptress, and above all, the lover. He enters me and... Well, I don't exactly shudder with ecstasy. <laughs> his hands ought to wander a few centimetres under, and his tongue <laughs> remains largely undiscovered. <laughs> well, still, he's a grunter and a grunger. <laughs> just, a few, just a few thrusts later, and his cucumber turns to butter. Out he lumbers and has the audacity to ponder, Did you come? <laughs> The boy wonder if 13 seconds could cure my hunger. I'm thinking on my answer when I see he's fallen asunder, asleep in my bed, this fucking bloody selfish bunker. I'm not just cold and wet, like a faucet that needs an able plumber. I'm not just underwhelmed, my need is even stronger, a burning fervor I now harbor. Should I stay or should I go? Next time I'll remember the better answer is no. Not because I fear I will suffer a guilty verdict from some social judger, or that someone may discover me, that they may plunder or outnumber or strip me of my armour, but simply and solely because so many men are bad in bed. <laughs>